Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome, and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, 2000, well, this 59 plate uh, Land Rover Freelander 2 XS TD4 Automatic. Hope you like it. Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 59 plate, so either late 2009 or early 2010. Uh, Land Rover Freelander 2 XS TD4 Automatic, so a nice high spec one. Um, finished in metallic grey, I think it's Bonatti grey, but I'll uh, see if I can look it up on the colour code. Um, fitted with 19 inch alloys, shod with a matching set of uh, Goodyear tyres, power fold mirrors, um, headlamp wash, front and rear parking sensors, um, automatic wipers and lights. Sat nav and everything inside, heated leather, all sorts, got everything this one. Tinted uh, rear windows, no tow bar. Inside basically standard specification, so uh, auto box, cruise control, multifunction steering wheel, Alpine stereo. Um, and inside, the only other difference, it's got a full height dog guard on it. You can see in the back there, sorry about my tray plates. Um, yeah, full height dog guard in the back. So let's walk around and pick out a few good bits and bad bits. Really not a lot in the way of bad bits. I think this is a really nice car myself. Start around the front end. Incidentally, all the wheels look to be in good shape. <coughs> with no curbing on them. But around the front end, that's just a bug mark from where we've just driven it back from being valeted. We have, however, got a couple of touched in stone chips just here on the bonnet, just between the R and the O. Um, otherwise, no, tiny scratch just there, and a small mark just there. That's just a, an insect. Um, again, squashed insect down there from where we've just driven it back from being valeted. Um, Looking down the near side, looks very, very straight down there. As we say, wheels are in good shape. Oh, tiny bit of curbing on the on the near side front wheel, just at the two o'clock position just there, and another little bit at the 11 o'clock position. So I was wrong saying the wheels are un uncurbed. Hadn't noticed that before. Heated screen on it, and we've got a tiny chip just down there, but way too small for the MOT tester. And another one just there. Um, that The other one incidentally is outside of the MOT area. That one probably is, but it's way too small to bother the MOT tester. Um, near side door all looks nice. Interior is in very good shape. Uh, the only thing I can find is we've got electric seats. The um, covering knob here for the backrest recliner um, has come off where that came off and it's been valeted, I don't know, but the, the, the seat adjuster still works and everything, you can still do it automatically. Just got to sort of grasp hold of that. Um, half leather, passenger seat all nice, dash is all very nice. Nothing really to criticise on the interior at all. Headlining is good. Near side door's got a couple of tiny touched in marks just there. Um, and another couple just there. Inside the back here, again, interior wise, really nice and clean and tidy. No nasty smells. Near side rear wing is all good. Roof is all nice. Around the tail end. It's all good, we'll just open up the boot again. I say, ignore my uh, tray plates in the corner. Got a little bit of paint loss just there on the very top edge of the bumper. And a couple of other minor blemishes just on the top edge of the, uh, of the bumper. As you can see there as well. Um, looking down the offside again, totally straight. 
all the panel gaps are nice. It's just a watermark. In the back here. Again, interior, very nice. Driver's door on the outside, very good. A couple of watermarks there. Tiny blemish just there on the top of the offside front wing, just above the arch lip. And a couple, little bit of stone chipping just down here. Um, as we've said, screen, is that? Yeah, another tiny chip on the screen just there. And inside on the driver's side, all very nice. So I think this is a really good car. Quite happy to uh, keep and run this myself, I think. Um, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info. Okay, quick video of the engine running on this... Uh, Freelander TD4, sorry about the shadow. It's a very sunny day here today. Aircon's running as well. There we have it.